Computer Generated Chess Problem 3113 by Chestetica. So white has a queen, rook, bishop and pawn, black only has a bishop and knight. Now white could easily win this. For example, rook to f6 check, maybe king to a7, rook to f7, pinning the bishop, knight to c7, rook captures knight, king to a6, queen to a5, mate, or something like that. I made in 4. However, the stipulation here is white to play and mate in 3. Can you see the solution? Let's take a look at it together. So as you can see from the analysis, there are mates in 3, 4, 5 and 6 and possibly more. But the way to win this in the quickest way is actually rook to b8. What a counterintuitive move. Now let's look at the obvious response. Knight captures rook. This is followed by queen to c5 check. Now that the knight is no longer on a6 guarding the c5 square. The king only has one square, which is to a6, and then queen to a5 mates. Alright, that's one response. But black doesn't have to capture the rook. Black could try something else, maybe king to c7. In that case, rook captures bishop, king to c8, and queen to d7 mates. What about another response? What about knight to c5? Well then, queen captures knight, king to a6, and queen to a5 as before. And what about another response, let's say knight to b4. Well, then here there are several ways to proceed, one of them being simply bishop captures knight. And at this point, whether king to c7, king to a7, or even king to a6, queen captures bishop with mate. Looking back, can you honestly say in this position, you, or maybe even any chess player that you know, would have played rook to b8? I think you know the answer to that one. Until next time, thanks for watching.